ask this question of my children and if another parent overhears it, it draws exactly the same reaction every time. <gasps> And then if I know them, they generally say, you can't ask them that. So what is this question and why do I ask them this question? Well, let's start with the why, because I am in the business of dispelling as many fears that they might have in life and pointing them in the direction of who they actually are and what that means about how they create this magnificent human experience. It's also, by the way, a question that I encourage you to ask yourself. It's a question I encourage you to ask your teams if you're in a leadership role and for the same reason, because the reason that you're not seeing growth in yourself, the reason that you're not seeing growth in the team, the reason you're not seeing growth in the bottom line is because you have a fear of this one very particular thing. And that thing is the F word, not that F word, the other F word, failure. And so what's the question I ask my children? several times a week, what did you fail at today? And oftentimes it'll trip right off their tongue what it was, whether it was something that they did in the classroom, whether it was something that happened in the playground, whether it was as inane as missing a goal on the football field, or whether it was something more profound in terms of a friendship. They don't blink an eye. And in fact, when they do gaze absently, trying to retrieve a failure from the day, and then they say, oh, I didn't fail at anything today. Then I generally respond with, what a pity. You didn't fail at anything? There's nothing? Why? Why do I ask them that and why do I follow it up with that? Because what I want them to realize is that in the failures lies the learning. Because if we're not failing, we're not learning. And if we're not learning, we're not growing. And unless you're someone who just wants to stay the same, I'm pretty sure you want to grow in some way, shape or form. So whether you're a parent or a leader or you just want to figure out how you can grow a little bit more, then I invite you to look at your relationship with failure and to specifically ask yourself, your children, your teams, what did you fail at?